The New South Wales opposition says there's a sting in the tail of the state government's new infrastructure plan when it comes to health and hospitals. The plan unveiled yesterday outlines how the government would spend the proceeds of a potential sale of poles and wires, including earmarking a billion dollars for health spending. The health minister, Gillian Skinner, says $600 million is set aside to build new hospitals in areas of high population growth, and $300 million is used to accelerate regional health projects. But her opposition counterpart, Walt Seacord, says there are three references in the fine print which show the government is planning more private involvement in the health sector. In the fine detail, in the language relating to health, they say pursue partnerships with the private sector, pursue more efficient and effective health systems, and reduce operating costs. Now, in anyone's language, that is code for privatization and slashing jobs. This is sugarcoating a nasty privatization message.